everyone this is asm arif today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you some new techniques to make the photoshop actions that is totally easy and with the smart object so i think this one will be amazing tutorial for you guys so if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so let's start i just made these actions so i downloaded the stock image and uh, I just here applied some effects, some color lookups, some the uh, curves and the gradient and color balance and the brightness contrast and other stuffs. So if I turn it off, that means this one, this one is the raw or non edited image. And after applying that effects, you are getting this type of vintage look with it. So you are just willing to get these uh, preset or actions so i will show you this technique how to make it so but uh, at first i'll show you how to work it out here the uh, image which is the smart object you know that the mystery or the magic of the smart object is that if you double press over here it will open up a new window and if you apply another photo in this just instead of this photo and if you save it out and it will just apply in this image that means you are getting your image like that suppose you want to edit your photo and you just uh, insert your photo in this panel and just save it out and you're getting the instant effects in this photo isn't that amazing so let's see how to do that so let's see the process file and open up here the stock image and make copy of this image right press this one and convert to smart object and then i'll apply all the presets all the things all the effects in just uh, upper side of this layer and let's see what will happening up so at first i'll go to the adjustment layer and here is the color lookup options and fuji this one i'll apply and then i'll go to the adjustment layer again and level options and adjust the levels like that and then again go to the photo filter and i'll add a photo filter like this yeah that's good and then again adjustment layer again and the uh, brightness and contrast i'll adjust the brightness and contrast and then again the adjustment layer all the thing in adjustment layer and um, you have to just find it out and you have to do that so hue saturation options suppose i want to make it like that that's good and then adjustment layer again and curves the blue one the green one i'm just editing this one and the rgb mode yeah that's fine and again the gradient map and select this gradient the orange and violet and make it soft light actually skin make the opacity a little bit down and then again in a levels and just so i'll adjust the color actually i'll give the color like like this yeah and hit okay and you got the effects the couple of effects so i'm just making it 
group so yeah the non real image but you want to give that effect in your photo so what should you do here i made a photo of this layer in a smart object so just double press over here it will open up new window and go to the file and place embedded options and replace your photo and hit the tick button and press ctrl s or command s and let's see in this yeah you are getting this one in this window that means you are applying and replacing your photo in this window and it's saving in this window you can adjust all the things suppose you want to adjust the gradient map or lights or other stuffs or photo filters and everything you can edit all the things just double press over here if you need you can just edit the levels and other things here the two things here is the like graph or icons if you double press these icons it will appear and you can adjust that just a related filter and this one is a masking option if you need you can just mask it out so the good news is that i'm giving this action to you free of cost so check out my video description for the actions and don't forget to subscribe my channel i think you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and i may say i'm signing out today but uh, i'll be back in next tutorial until the next video and next tutorial i may say i'm signing out and bye bye